half a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want I turn a business out of nothing into something I love I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff I flip a switch, never miss, man, I always stay up Don't let them see you, bitch, always have a plan to stay tough This life ahead of you ain't easy, it was built to be rough But that's what makes a personality is tragedy, bruh Kicking off, WrestleMania Night 2 is a match for the WWF World... Shit, did I say WWF? Sorry about that. Ah, take two. Alright, kicking off Night 2 of WrestleMania 40 is a match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The challenger, Drew McIntyre, went up against the champion, Seth Rollins. And it kicked... Lily kicked off with a bang. Uh, Seth Rollins nailed the Claymore kick. As soon as the bell rang, but only got two count. Uh, Drew McIntyre kept the advantage. Uh, Drew, or excuse me, Seth made made a few comebacks. This match was almost like you know, uh, let's try to just beat each other with finishers and other people's finishers. There was a lot of stomps, a lot of Claymore kicks in this match. Uh, see there, there's like another Claymore kick there. Uh, they went outside. Seth Rollins nailed another stomp there, threw him in the ring, got a two count again. Uh, this time another claim, one more Claymore kick, actually two more. Uh, this one would seal the deal. Your winner and new world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. Unfortunately, uh, though, Drew McIntyre won to get in other people's faces, namely CM Punk. Uh, he just wouldn't leave well enough alone, uh, bask in the glory, soak in the moment. But uh, he decided to get in CM Punk's face, uh, playing like Johnny. Uh, sweeped the, he swept John, or Drew's leg, uh, nailed him a couple times. Then the music hit. Here comes Damian Priest, nails Drew McIntyre with the briefcase, throws him in the ring. South of Heaven choke slam. one, two, three. A successful cash in, and now your new world heavyweight champion is Damian Priest. A uh, kick ass little moment here, all of Judgment Day uh, celebrating with him. I uh, think I called this one. I said, uh, I said, Drew wins, Damian cashes. So kudos for me for get, get one prediction right so far. But nah, this is a cool moment. I actually love this right here. Um, now we're going to see, probably see some match between him and Drew. Uh, maybe Seth Rollins back in the mix. Since CM Punk, he's definitely going to be in that world title mix as well in the coming year. Like like they said, it's a new... Uh, more on that later. Let's go to the next All match. Right, second match of the night is a Philadelphia street fight. It is the final testament. Karrion Cross and Arthur Supplain, Payne. With Paul Ellering and Scarlett in their corner, teaming up or going up against, uh, I believe they call this trio the Pride. It is the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. They started throwing hands from the get go. Oh, forgot to mention here, Snoop Dogg was your special commentator, along with Bubba Ray Dudley, yes, the ECW legend, member of the Dudley Boys, multi time. ECW Tag Team Champions, as well as uh, TNA, NWA, uh, WWE uh, Tag Team. They still held gold wherever they went, kind of like the at the time the modern day Ro Road Warriors, but Road Warriors way back. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yes, Bobby Ray Dudley got a great pop, great great ovation here as he was coming out. Uh, match start off. They, everybody was throwing hands. Then Testament just whooped up on everybody with those kendo sticks. Namely, uh, Bobby Lashley to start off with, and Street Profits trying to say their say their buddy here, but they got the help you know, with a uh, with kendo sticks as well. Uh, the Profits would towards they would make a comeback towards the end here. Uh, Bobby Lashley throwing carrying cross around. The Prophets would ultimately take out AOP. That left Karrion Cross by himself with all three members of the Pride. Uh, he get, 
He got spear by Karrion Cross. Uh, then a what's up, followed by a, uh, oh, sh excuse me, followed by a frog splash on the table. Sorry. Uh, that sealed the deal and the victory for the Pride. Uh, decent match here. That needed. That's kind of match they need here. Especially with uh, especially with AOP, they're okay, but not mm, not the kind of people you want to see 15 minutes of. So, a bunch of furniture moving and stuff like that, and uh, just six men kicking each other's ass. Of course, the two women uh, uh, got involved as well. They they both went through a table uh, earlier on, but uh, I say this match did what's supposed. To do it popped the crowd especially with Bubba Ray Dudley uh, as a special referee and when Karen Cross got in his face he put the Dudley boys glasses on funny commentary from uh, Snoop Dogg as well so uh, like I said whatever it's like in the uh, in night one definitely wasn't so far wasn't liking them all right next night. up we had LA Knight versus AJ Styles LA Knight got the Get, give away a Slim Jim's car uh, to some lucky fans. Again, right from the get-go, as soon as AJ's music hits, uh, he starts walking, then as soon as he got halfway, took the jacket off and beeline to the ring, they started going at it. A little back and forth action here, but in this match, they gave gave both guys plenty of time to shine, and or they just gave this match plenty of time to begin with. Uh, like I said, back and forth stuff, in and out of the ring. Uh, AJ started working on uh, LA Knight, beginning with a calf cutter, and then, or, yeah, calf cutter. Is that what they call it? Anyway, started working on that knee. Uh, Knight, you know, will make a comeback, pull the mats out as it was outside again. Looked like he was going for a pile driver. AJ Styles like, nah, not today. Backdrop on the four you go. Uh, looks like Knight was was going to get counted out, but he winds up making it in at number nine and three quarters. Uh, Styles went for the uh, springboard 450 splash, but got a tummy full of knees. Uh, some more back and forth stuff. Styles went for the phenomenal form. Uh L.A. Knight counters, hits the blunt force trauma for the win. Uh, another one I got right here. Like I said, uh, this is what AJ's doing. He's putting younger talent over. Uh, and he was pretty much... It almost seems like the the whole yeah thing and everything's kind of dwindling a little bit. But like I said, there's a lot of emotion, especially in the main event of this, of this show. So they probably kind of save themselves a little bit, but the crowd still love L.A. Knight. Uh, I guess now they're going to put uh, him and Logan. Mm, oops. Spoiler alert. Okay. Uh, maybe he'll go whoever's the United States champion. Wait, wait. No, he's done, done. Gave it away. Didn't mean to. But uh, anyway, yeah. So that'll probably put him in contention for the, for the United States championship. And... Probably maybe another match or two with these guys. Uh, like I said, who knows? This is a whole new era. Yeah, I apologize. I think I already gave away the, the finish of this match. Anyway, uh, this match was for the United States Heavyweight Championship. It is Logan Paul defending against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton in a fatal three-way here. Uh, pretty <laughs> pretty funny thing here. here uh, Kevin Owens was making his way to the ring, then got himself a cart there, then... Uh, Randy Orange music hit. He comes down and Kevin Owens said, hey, you want to ride? So uh, Randy Orange hopped on the back and they rode down to the ring. Uh, got along pretty well for a certain amount. You know how this works in three-way matches, uh, especially fatal three-ways. The baby faces were beating up on the, on the hill a little bit. In this case, uh, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens were putting a whooping on Logan Paul. Uh just kept nailing them, kept throwing them on a t uh, commentator's table, uh, kicking the crap out of them. Then, had that moment there, uh, they each wanted one that, wanted that win, and at one point, 
Randy Orton looked like he was going to uh, do the RKO out of nowhere on Owens, uh, but he caught him, and hey, they started throwing hands. They got broken up with a buckshot from Logan Paul. Uh, just some back and forth stuff here. Everybody started getting their stuff in. Pretty cool sequence here where uh, Logan Paul hit the swanton, then uh, rolled over and hit like a leaping frog splash. Uh, then Randy Orton with a double uh, vintage Randy Orton draping DDTs. Uh, then here it comes start of the finish here. Uh, Logan Paul brought frog out the nuts, nailed Randy Orton for two. He would take out Kevin Owens as well. Uh, when uh, uh, when uh, Logan Paul was going for another knockout punch, Randy Orton hit the RKO, but he was saved by this guy. Uh, what's this guy's name again? I got written down. I don't know any of these people. Uh, let me look. Ah, where'd it go? Uh, actually, yeah, Randy Orton was going to trunk, uh, the punt kick that He's hit plenty of people with uh, ISO speed, <laughs> ISO speed, whatever, whatever his name is. He saved Logan Paul. Uh, Randy Orton took care of him by giving him an RKO on the table. Uh, now comes the big finish here. Uh, Pop-up powerbomb for Logan Paul. Uh, stunner for Randy Orton for a two count. Uh, look like Kevin Owens was going for another pop up power bomb, but Randy Orton hit him with an RKO. Unfortunately, him, Logan Paul got his wits back together, uh, got rid of Randy Orton, hit the frog splash on Owens, got the win. Your winner, in case you didn't know already, uh, was Logan Paul. Like I said, this 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 match in the Philly Street fight, I can honestly say I wasn't looking too forward to. Um, and I, like I said, I was wanting Randy Orton to win, but knew that Logan Paul was, or I had, you know, made an educated guess that Logan Paul was going to keep it. But like I said, it looks like may, maybe now they'll throw uh, Logan Paul and LA Knight together and see what they can do. Um, not a bad match here, though. Uh, like I said, I wasn't really looking forward to this match at all, but uh, it definitely kept my interest. And like I said, man, uh, I'm not going to give it no star rating or, you know, uh, five out of tens or, you know, one out, you know, what, uh, whatever five is, you know. I'm not going to do like that. If I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I tell you. Uh, but this match, I did. All right. Uh, next up is your semi-main event. It is for the WWE Women's Championship, Bailey challenging EO Sky, the champion. Uh, Bailey had things going her way to begin with. Uh, went for a dive, then her knee started bothering her. Uh, look like you know, her knee buckled. Uh, that's when EOS guys started working on the knee. Uh, some more back and forth stuff. They got outside the ring. Uh, Bailey, you know, got the upper hand there with a Bailey to belly suplex on the floor. Sky took back cover with a palm strike. Uh, hit a you know, couple of moonsaults here. Uh, this was a sweet reversal here. Uh, Bailey was going for a top rope elbow, and basically Eos guy turned it over into a cross face. Looked really good, but uh, Eos guy would hit another moonsault for a two count. Uh, was going for another one. Uh, actually escaped the first rose plant, but a uh, big clothesline just knocked her out. Uh, side suplex. Then a top rope elbow, rose plant, put the punctuation uh, mark in. And now your new WWE Women's Champion is Bailey. Cool moment here. Uh, like saying, I like the EOS reign, uh, like damage control. Uh, but, you know, I just had that feeling that Bailey's going to win this match. Or actually, no, I actually. I actually picked EO, so this is actually one of the ones I got wrong. Uh, but 
definitely not complaining seeing Bailey win. Uh, she's she's very All right, good. now it is time for the main event for the Undisputed Universal Championship. It is Cody Rhodes, the challenger, versus the champion, the head of the table, your tribal chief, Roman Reigns. And, man, that they did not disappoint. A uh, little face-off there, a little back and forth. Uh, early advantage for Cody Rhodes. He, he pulled out a table, uh, but a drive-by laid Cody out. And instead of using a table, Roman Reigns just folded it back up and just chucked it back underneath the ring. And the uh, crowd did not like that, especially the Philly crowd. Philly crowd loves their tables. Uh, but, you know, like I said, more back and forth. Roman took over with the use of a kendo stick. Uh, then Cody got a hold of it, fought back. Uh, Roman Reigns took full advantage at this point. Uh, when the fight went back outside, low blow, power bomb onto the table. Uh, like I said, they had had a had a lot of uh, moving parts in this match, especially in the finish. There's another little part where Reigns hit the crossroads on Cody for a two count, and. <laughs> He just looked at Paul Heyman and said, of course, that move ain't, that move sucks. Uh, that move never beats anybody. But uh, towards the finish, man, it's just a bunch, bunch of uh, moves, moving parts here. Uh, Cody was going for the hat trick crossroads, and Jimmy Uso would come out, give Cody a super kick. Uh, they double teamed him until Jay Uso came out, and he took care of Jimmy. Uh, after that, you know, it looked like Cody was going for that hat trick again, and that's when Solo Sokoa came out, gave him the uh, Samoan Spike. Uh, they actually nailed uh, Cody with the Samoan Spike Spear Combo, but Cody still kicked out of that. It's like, no, nope, this is my last chance. I got to make the most of it. Uh, after, you know, John Cena would actually come out and save Cody on this one. Took out Solo Sokoa. And that's when The Rock came out. Uh, after a nice little stare down, Rock hit the rock bottom on John Cena. And cue the music. Lights go out. And when the music, or, or when the lights came back on, of course, it's The Undertaker. Uh, another little stare down. Looked like Rock was going to hit him with a the, the weightlifter's belt, but uh, Undertaker goozled him, hit him with a choke slam, and then disappeared after that. Uh, during all this, too, uh, the Shields old music hits. And, you know, Rock's looking around, it's like, no way, no way. And uh, here comes Seth Rollins, you know, crawling in the ring, but uh, Roman Reigns wind up. Nailing him with Superman punch. This was a little before the Undertaker appeared, uh, but yeah, once the uh, Undertaker get, or the Undertaker took care of the Rock, uh, or Seth Rollins was sitting there in his uh, old shield shield gear there, and Roman Reigns had a chair. He had a choice: go ahead, hit Cody with it, or hit Seth. And you know what? Payback's a bitch. Uh, remember, this is how. The shield broke up to begin with is when Seth Rollins nailed Roman Reigns in the back with the chair. So he finally got the payback. Seth Rollins, or excuse me, Roman Reigns would go for his spear, another spear again, but Cody kicked him in the face. Uh, one crossroads, two crossroads, finally at the hat trick, three crossroads, made the cover. One, two, three. Cody had it finish the story your winner and new undisputed universal champion is cody rhodes uh ends roman reigns 1316 days as champion uh roman actually beat hulk hogan's record as far as uh more main event wrestlemanias but uh did they did the cool thing here brought some uh wrestles from the back to kind of graduate them uh, Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, Randy Orton, L.A. Knight, uh, John Cena got his whist together. Of course, Brandy Rhodes is in there. Brung his family out. His mom, uh, also his father-in-law, was there. 
Uh, I believe that's his sister and probably his nephews right there too. Um, <clears throat> I all celebrated with him. Uh, he got on the mic and said, hey, you know, there's two people. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be back. One of them was Bruce Pritchard, and the other one was Triple H, Paul Levesque. They came out, uh, celebrated as well. Um, I believe that's probably what Triple H actually wanted to do the last year, but uh, eh, things happened. There was, you know, uh, somebody, I guess, made the other call, but it was kind of, it was, as soon as Vince kind of bowed out for a little bit, uh, it was still the Triple H show. This is the first, I guess, official full year under uh, Triple H being the, you know, uh, the creative control or whatever, the head of creative control, whatever you want to call it, CCO as well. Uh, and Stephanie McMahon said this is this is the first WrestleMania uh, under the watch of. Paul Levesque, uh, and like I said, you know, the, the story is finished now. Um, he is your new champion, Cody Rhodes. Uh, I think, I know they, that's what they said, uh, Roman Reigns' leukemia has came back, but I don't think that uh, played a part in it. I believe that's, this is what they was wanting to do uh, from the get-go. Uh like I said, one thing's for certain, this is a new era. Uh, Triple H is the one in control. And after the last couple of years, hey, he, he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's always been. I'm gonna, I'll probably speak more about this on my spot show live stream Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, so tune in. But uh, th let's just say I think the WWE, as far as creative, control or anything creative is in good hands right now with Triple H. Uh, so, like I said, let the new era begin. Uh, like I said, begin with what, whatever, and I'll say it again, this is probably the fifth time I said, whatever night one was lacking, they definitely uh, brought it back, got the crowd into it, kept the crowd into it. Uh, great story and you know, and all with this, the end here. Uh is it your five star, ten star, you know, match? Probably not. Uh, it had a bunch of, you know, it didn't have too many smoke and mirrors. You know, give Roman Reigns credit. You know, he improved and got better. The trash talking he does during the matches with a camera right there and you hearing him. That, it's probably the most awesome thing in the world, or awesome, not awesome thing in the world, but uh, that was basically his character. Uh, he was a tribal chief. He was cocky and stuff like that, and uh, and stuff like that made the matches more enjoyable. You got to hear what he was saying to the crowd and saying to Paul and saying to his opponent. Uh, so that them doing that, let him do that, uh, was great. Um, lengthy. If he couldn't carry the ball during this time, they wouldn't give it to him. Uh, the regiment before Triple H, they, let's just say it, Vince McMahon, he believed in him. Uh, Triple H, he still believed in him. So I'm pretty sure he had uh, some input as well. Um, and he, when he finally turned heel and got with Paul Heyman, the bloodline, that whole storyline involving multiple people, including Kevin Owens, uh, Drew McIntyre, uh, Sami Zayn, and all that. That made it worth watching. Uh, it did move the needle for them. Then insert Cody into this. Uh, he came back, then ruined the Royal Rumble in 2023. Uh, didn't fare too well, but. I have faith. I I thought I have plenty of faith in the Triple H. He can make this work. He can make people still believe in Cody Rhodes, and he did. Um, he had a heck of a year. Uh, feuds with Nakamura, feuds with uh, Brock Lesnar was great. So yes, he does deserve this moment. 
a hell of a career so far. Not, you know, he had his time where he had a shitty gimmicks, but sometimes you got to fight through that or try to make it work. And as soon as they give you something else, or when you leave, reinvent yourself like he did, like Drew McIntyre did, uh, come back strong. And that's just, you know, sometimes you got to, uh, Sometimes you gotta bet on yourself and and uh and to do anything and achieve your goals. Anyway, enough of that stuff. I'll probably like I said, I'll probably speak a little more about this. Uh, not too much more. Uh, come my spot show live stream Thursday at eight o'clock. So tune in then. Uh, until next time, and until next WrestleMania, or until you know, any of my videos you watch, please, you know, enjoy, hopefully enjoy, uh, the recaps, the trivia shows, uh, the live stream, I'm actually starting a new live stream this Friday called Wrestling Gold Friday Night, so that's also going to be at 8 o'clock, uh, so check that out, anyway, so till next time, you folks have a good one, and take it easy, where's that stop button, hey there, thank you for checking this out, if you enjoyed it, share with friends, drop a like button, leave a comment. Also, be a champ and hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on social media, Facebook, at Ronald Ray. On X or Twitter, is RPATRPTV46. Until next time. So long from the Peach State of Georgia.